the modern world faces a problem that didn't exist during the times of Charles Darwin and his voyage around the world. And that's the issue of plastic pollution. Up to 100,000 plastic microparticles have been found in a single cubic meter of seawater from some parts of the world. And it's said, if current trends continue, there may be more plastic in the world's oceans and seas than fish by the year 2050. During this Darwin 200 UK voyage, one of our goals is to establish exactly how bad plastic is in the UK's waters, to see if there's anything we can do to help solve some of the problems that it causes. Plastics in the marine environment, well known through various TV programmes and a classic case off the Cornish coast was when the, uh, the container ship Tokyo Express in 1997 spilled a container full of Lego off its decks of which there was about 4.8 million pieces of Lego spilt into the sea, of which about 3.2 million were floating. And these larger plastics, they, they start off in this sort of form, progressively broken down by wave action and sunlight action, broken down into these more degraded pieces, and these eventually will end up as the microplastics that then can be ingested by things like filter feeders, such as the mussels, and bioaccumulate up the food chain because they also contain pigments and heavy metals that can impact on various processes. Okay, yep, have a Marine biologist Dr. Rowan Holt is diving from the Darwin 200 ship to look for evidence of plastic waste in our waters. Right, we've just come up from a dive uh, near Falmouth on a steep muddy bank that's on the edge of the channel. And you know, we were ha having a look around sort of for natural habitats, but what we found instead were a fair number of bits of old plastic lying on the seabed. Uh, over the last 20, 30 years I've been diving and every time I go in the water we always find more and more plastic. And it's a problem, you know, it's something that's um, always around at the moment. And it's usually things that people have either lost overboard, things have dropped in the water, things that are floating around in the sea all over the place. The team of Darwin 200 young scientists are developing their own research programme to quantify the amount of macroplastics on the surface of our seas around the UK. We've come up with a method to determine the amount of plastics um, in the water as we travel through it. The method we've developed requires two teams, one either side of the boat and we're going to look overboard and record specific pieces of plastic over a distance. We will be conducting our macroplastic survey on our UK voyage around the country to help us build up a bigger picture of the UK coastline map understanding which places are most affected by plastics. Stay tuned and join us in five weeks time when the Darwin 200 ship will reach London and the young scientists will present a summary of their findings. <laughs>